Good morning, welcome along to this video walkthrough of our ABI Rizal. It's a 32 by 12 two bed from 2009, fitted with double glazing and priced at 9775. We're gonna have a look around, show the condition, the layout, point out a few things, so let's get on. Beautiful sunny day here today, really has been a nice week. Very much appreciated after all the rain we've had. So you can see we have lots of natural light coming into this caravan on this sunny Saturday morning, which is really nice to see. We've got blinds around all the windows rather than any curtains. The caravan's had some refurbishment in recent years. The carpet looks fairly recent, certainly not original. The upholstery has been recovered and we have some new material pelmets, as you can see. So it's all had a little bit of uh, work done over the last few years. I think the arms from the looks of it are just loosely put over the tops, but yeah, it's, um, it's obviously looking better than, than it obviously was before. Um, we have a gas fire over here, which has been um, refurbished a bit and sprayed, painted on the front. Just probably going over the top of a bit of rust or something. We've got some cupboards around the top there, placed for a TV over in the corner with some shelving below as you can see. I'll kind of stand in the front corner here and give you another view around this way. You can see we've got this sort of L-shaped corner seating area at the front of the caravan and then just slightly round on the off side there. Similar style stuff over in the dining area as you'd expect there then with the freestanding table, a bit of bench seating and then a couple of stools. A little coffee table in the middle there. Some shelving over on the corner here just between the living area and the kitchen. Just an extra bit of shelving just helps with uh, storage. Um, don't have that there, you miss the shelves and then you obviously not got somewhere to put a few bits and pieces there. So um, having things like that in a caravan is pretty helpful. It's a bit of delamination in the caravan in a couple of places. Um, this area over here is just a little bit sun stained from when it was originally built, but nothing too bad. A little bit of an edge going on the top there and probably can be looked at and repaired. The other couple of doors look to be okay. Coming then up through past the dining area, I'll show you the kitchen. So again, a couple of doors and drawers. So this door you can see has had a little bit of a repair on the edge here, but the edge is, is gone on that door, uh, drawer, sorry. Um, and then there's a bit going on the bottom of the door there. So there are a couple of bits of delamination as we call it in the caravan, just due to the nature of the doors. But, um, you know, to be honest, you can carry on and use it. It's under, under 10 grand. Um, double glazed van and uh, obviously a few bits can be done in here but I would suggest just carrying on using it as it is and not worrying too much about it. We've got an under counter fridge there on the left hand side and then looking over towards this way we've got our exterior door, just the one exterior door here coming into the caravan. We've got um, this sort of, um, are they hexagons? I'm not sure, uh, I need to go back to school. Uh, we've got this vinyl as you can see through the kitchen area. Um, which I think is must have been replaced at some point. And then we've got that carpet there, which is different. And then I think coming then through to the hallway where we see our sort of more brown carpet, I think that must be the original stuff um, that was fitted when the caravan was made. Coming through from the kitchen then up the hallway, there's a dividing door for the hallway um, to the, the living room area, shutting off our bedroom areas at the back, which is nice. And then coming to the main bedroom itself, just closing a couple of doors so we can have a look around. You see we've got a main bed in here with fabric headboard there, or fabric on wood. A couple of bedside units, some overhead storage there, a couple of cupboards with a big shelf in the middle. We've got an extra unit here that the previous owners have put in. And then turning to the side here, we've got extensive wardrobe storage, as you can see. Got some hanging rail space there. And some drawers below. A bit more hanging rail space there. There's also a lift up bed. We'll see if it's working at the moment or whether the arms have given up, which they sometimes do. No, it's working. A couple of bits and pieces under here, but um, nothing much too important. But as you can see, lift up bed there, which adds to the storage in the caravan. So you can put your suitcases under there or some clothes or whatever you want to do really, uh, but handy to have. There's two doors into the bathroom. So we've got Jack and Jill bathroom. So one here and then one off the hallway as well. So we'll have a look at the bathroom in a minute, but just to show you that's where that second door in the main bedroom goes. But coming back up the hallway and towards the kitchen or towards the living room area and turning to our right, we find our twin room. That's where we've got our two single beds, fabric headboards again, storage over the bed and wardrobe cupboard. So all pretty standard and very similar to the main bedroom in styling. Coming back out of there, 
back to our hallway again. So um, we're going to go back down the corridor a little bit to the bathroom here, where we find our sink and toilet and shower. All fairly self-explanatory. Three-part sliding door, which means it goes back a bit further than halfway. So you've got a nice wide opening there. I think they're quite good, those doors there. And a full plastic topper as well on it as well. So not letting any of the sort of damp from the shower coming out over the ceiling. Shower seat in there in case you wanted to sit down whilst you're having a shower, if that's your kind of thing. Bit of rust on, a couple of things in there, but we can change the uh, riser bar and the shower hose. That's not too much of an issue. So fairly clean and tidy bathroom. Coming back up the hallway and turning to our left again, we find then our toilet room. So we've got an extra toilet and sink in this room, as you can see. So there's no curtains in the whole caravan, I don't think. It looks like there's blinds in the bedrooms as well, and you've got blinds up the front end here too, so not worrying about any of the curtains going damp or anything like that, which can happen. Um, we're going to have a look at around the outside now, so uh, we'll say goodbye to the inside and jump outside and look at the exterior. Outside the Roselle then, just having a look around, um, we've got proper downpipes and gutters on here. Uh, it does need a good wash off, which we'll get to probably this week. Bit of gravel here on the left, we're doing some work. Just skip around that. But in terms of damage, front, down the offside here as well, look to be okay. A few little dents here and there. Ooh, that's dirty, isn't it? It's been up against something. <laughs> um, that need a good wash off, on not it? Got a gas regulator on the back here that we will remove. It looks looking pretty old and tired, so we will take that off, tidy up the panel, and just cap the pipe. But in terms of washing, then yes, 100%. Let's get that cleaned off. But in terms of damage, we look fairly good to go. No, no clear signs of anything to worry about there. Dropping it down to look at the chassis. It's a standard painted chassis, which has been by the coast. I'd say it maybe has had a bit of treatment over the years. Just to look, judging by the color of it, but you can see that the steel is all solid. So nothing to worry about with this chassis. So that has been our ABI Rizal. It's a 2009, it's a 32 by 12 two bed. It's priced at 9775. We've got double glazing, we've got a bit of new carpet, a bit of refurbishment in there. Um, if you wanted us to, we could go through and then replace the carpets in the bedrooms and hallway if you want, um, just to bring that up to scratch. But in, in general, to be honest, under 10 grand, nice 12 foot caravan with double glazing. I think it's quite a nice one. Give it a good wash off and then we'll be, we'll be really be talking then, won't we? So um, hopefully see you again soon. Uh, pop up and say hello or leave a comment on the video. Um, got any questions, give us a call, send us an email. Thanks very much. Cheers.